Huntsman spiders could be rather fittingly described as the very embodiment of arachnophobia, the epitome of almost everything that people fear about spiders. Long, hairy legs, rapid and sometimes unpredictable movement, and a proclivity for showing up in the most unexpected of locations. Yet this cocktail of unnerving traits masks a most benign animal and one that has been a major asset to many of my attempts at educating the public about spiders, both on YouTube and in person. Huntsmen, properly known as sparacids, are most commonly associated with Australia, leading many to arrive at the erroneous conclusion that these hairy housemates are solely denizens of Down Under. Quite the contrary to this widespread notion, the Sparacidae are a very broadly distributed family of spiders. And what is perhaps the biggest of them all, dwells not in the confines of Australian homes and gardens, nor behind the sun visors in our cars, but somewhere much more remote and far beyond the shores of the land down under. The limestones that form part of the topography of Laos, a country in Southeast Asia, shroud a mysterious realm a world apart from the vibrant, sunlit lands above. Expansive networks of caves, carved through the stone by nothing more than the gentle flow of water, hide entire communities of animals that had age-long dwelled there, hitherto unseen by human eyes until our more intrepid explorers ventured into the uncharted depths. Among these enigmatic creatures was a spider, one that would eventually become infamous worldwide, for this was no ordinary spider, it was a giant. Meet Heteropoda maxima, the aptly named giant huntsman spider, often regarded as the largest of all the huntsmen. Spanning up to 30 centimetres across, it is considered to have the widest leg span of any spider species known. Heteropoda maxima was first described in 2001, based off a small collection of individuals deposited in the French National Museum of Natural History. Our knowledge of these spiders' biology was very scant at the time. Certain characteristics, such as elongated, spindly legs and pale coloration, were considered suggestive of a cave-dwelling lifestyle, due to their presence in other Cavernicolus huntsmen. Here in Australia, for instance, the species Jinthi chiligo displays similar traits, though while still a very large spider, it is dwarfed by Heteropoda maxima. Subsequent in situ observations of these spiders have since confirmed that Heteropoda maxima is indeed a cave-dwelling animal. Since its description, other large Cavernicolus huntsmen have been found in Laos and surrounding countries. Some have even made it into captivity. One, dubbed the Thai Cave Huntsman, has already been bred by hobbyists, and may approach Heteropoda maxima in dimension, allegedly reaching leg spans of around 20 centimetres with some degree of regularity. Heteropoda maxima's immense leg span has led to it being widely hailed as the world's biggest spider. If you've seen my reaction videos, you know, those ones where I'd torture myself to near insanity, watching asinine clickbait bollocks spewed forth ad nauseum by content creators for whom more than a few seconds of research was evidently too arduous of a task, then you're probably well acquainted with the prevalence of top 10 biggest or top 10 deadliest spiders lists on YouTube. And in nearly all instances of the former, Heteropoda maxima is given the top spot. This, it seems, stems from a general misunderstanding of what it means to be the biggest. Typically, when one is talking about size, especially when it comes to animals, mass is the metric that is being referred to. It is why Balaenoptera musculus, the blue whale, is considered the largest animal and not Cyania capillata. For while the latter has been recorded at marginally greater lengths, the former is orders of magnitude more massive, and is thus bigger. Coming back to Heteropoda maxima, though it is without doubt a big spider, much of its apparent size is merely legs. 
legs that are so long and skinny that they make mine look normal by comparison. And when you see some of the spider world's true giants, Heteropoda maxima is a complete featherweight by comparison. So what is the biggest spider? Well, I'm sure most of you know the answer already, Therophosa. Native to South America, also known as the land of Hold My Beer Australia, these colossal tarantulas are the undisputed titans of the spider world, their immense bulk completely and utterly dwarfing the small-bodied, spindly Heteropoda maxima. So no, Heteropoda maxima is not the biggest spider in the world. No matter how many poorly researched TikToks and top 10 videos state that to be the case. But its status as the largest spider is not the only thing that is widely misunderstood about this species. Many sources can't seem to figure out what Heteropoda maxima even is. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that the species is basically the brown recluse of huntsman spiders. Any huntsman, no matter what it looks like or where in the world it is located, is fair game to be misidentified as Heteropoda maxima. If you conduct a Google image search for the species, chances are these two photographs will be among the top results. They depict a seemingly enormous huntsman perched upon the end of a broom, and have been repeatedly making the rounds on the internet for years. However, although there was no usage of photo editing software here, unlike for example this bullshit, and yes I have seen people who genuinely think this is real, there was a bit of clever camera trickery involved, with the spider being held closer in order to make it appear larger than life. Though it is doubtless a very big huntsman, it is not Heteropoda maxima. The spider's proper identity is Typostola barbata, native to the eastern coast of Australia, and also one of the first huntsman species I've ever owned. A massive female that I had a couple years back was the spider that really sold me on keeping huntsmen. Typostola barbata is among Australia's largest huntsmen, and can occasionally approach 20 centimetres across, although leg spans around 15 centimetres are more common. Another image that I rather regularly see being misattributed to Heteropoda maxima is this one. This photo, I must say, has all the makings of a viral spider pig. It was taken in Australia, a country whose very name seems to dial the internet's collective gullibility up to 11, and there's enough of a sense of scale for one to be able to tell the spider is big, while at the same time not having any obvious references that would allow a viewer to accurately gauge its size meaning any estimates will be at the mercy of a person's fear-intensified imagination. For many of you, I dare say the identity of this spider needs little explanation. It's one of the most regularly featured species on this channel. Holconia imanis, a very large and rather common huntsman species that I often encounter on my ventures into the bush. I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere, but let's try and keep this channel at least somewhat family friendly. It also happens to be the species that one of my friends kissed after cracking open a few too many cold ones. But that's a story for another time. The frequent mislabeling of any large huntsman spiders as Heteropoda maxima is a textbook example of just how appallingly researched a large portion of spider-related media is. It'd take little more than a cursory glance at the species Wikipedia page to know that these arachnids are endemic to caves in Laos. So if the spider in question is chilling in someone's house on an entirely different continent, I think it's safe to wager that it may not be the same species. So that's where I am now, having to devote a fucking video to clearing out misconceptions that'd be avoided by a minute's worth of reading up on the topic. Honestly, the content creators behind much of the internet's information about this species and spiders as a whole, or for that matter, mini-beasts in general, have gone so far beyond scraping the bottom of the barrel that they'll soon stand a very good chance of encountering Heteropoda maxima in its natural habitat. So that's it for this video. If you want to see the very largest huntsman that Australia has to offer, 
take a look at this video, where I attempt to induce a bite from one. And if you'd be interested in seeing a variety of big huntsmen in the wild, this night walk at Karanda has all the goods. Thank you very much for watching, that is it from me, and I shall see you again very soon.